Hello guys, Def Channel here with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use or how to access the file system on a Mac OS X device within C Sharp and .NET code. For this purpose, we're going to use Xamarin Studio. And we're going to create a new solution. And we're heading into other and a .NET project. And we're creating a console project. And next, we're going to create our project name, which is basically a file system test or let's say demo sounds better <laughs> of course and we're hitting create so what we're seeing now is our similar or construct where we're getting our in c shop now we're hitting start we're getting um, hello world and pressing a key to continue and the only difference is that the terminal window does not close as the command window in Windows. So we can see right now, we get the console and we can write into the console. So we rename this part to starting file access. This is, uh, sounds, sounds much better. And then we wanna access uh, the file and we are saying the same like in the Windows world, we're using system.io to access the file system. So I have created a document on the desktop and I call it text file txt with the content and a text file on a Mac OS X. So to read this, we're gonna say stream reader. And uh, let's say we are first creating a path because we want to use it uh, later on to write too. So let's say path, and then we're creating a new instance of our stream reader with the path. So if we have access, file access, uh, let's say granted, uh, because if we do not have access to this path, we get an exception in this place. So we're hitting start. We see starting file access, starting uh, file, access granted oh this is of course not not the starting process let's say only file access granted and now we're saying raw input and we're heading into uh, the reader and let's say read to end so we get the whole uh, document in our input variable and then we can say console the right input of the file and then let's say we're heading the input to our string concatenation and we're hitting now start we see start file access file access granted and then invert file and a text file on mac os x and if we're heading to our text file and open it we're seeing on text file on mac os x so that is basically true and then we're heading in and uh, we're gonna say we also want to write something. So we're analyzing a new stream writer. And of course, as always, if you're done with your operation, you should close the reader and the writer or the stream reader in this case. Because otherwise we do not close, we cannot access it here. We're going there and creating a writer. Let's see, starting file access again. File access granted. This would be fail if we are do not close it. And then we are gonna create a var output. And let's say this content is auto generated from the code on Mac OS X. And then gonna say writer dot write with our output. And uh, to finish the process, we're heading there and we're gonna say writer dot close. And then if everything works fine, we're gonna there finished file access. Of course, we do not have any exception handle here. So if, if we look course, uh, the debugger will stop automatically. So if we hit now run, we see there, starting file access, file access granted, and we can close this window. 
input file on the text file on Mac OS X and that's download file. Okay, we have to, yeah, we're using right line and then there's right. Uh, no line landscaping, file access grounded, finished file. So if we are running the program again, uh, this line should be changed to this kind of again. Oops. So hit again, and of course, the input file is this kind of all again ready from the Mac to Mac OS X. Make double check, open the text file, and of course, this kind of all ready. So it is basically the same way as you use it on Windows. You're using the same methods, the same stream readers, stream writer, file streams, system I/O using directives. So you can code programs on Mac OS X completely the same as you're used to in the .NET world on Windows computers. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If you have any wishes for further videos, please uh, do not hesitate to contact me. Comment the video below. Hit like, subscribe to my channel. And of always, wish you a nice day, guys. Bye.